How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Marcus Max Y the channel. Okay. Hi, it's uh, uh July 31st. It's the end of July. No more July. Aloha July. It's the end of the month. And it's Wednesday too, so I gotta run off to Toastmasters. I'm always running off to things. I have to go rush, rush, rush and run off to stuff. So I may edit this a little after that. Anyhow, uh, the rain has turned to, I don't know, it's windy, rainy, and then it's like not windy. I'm not sure. Well, did a lot of stuff yesterday with a big meeting uh, between me and, I don't know, we're just... Keep recording. Sorry. Building a relation with one of these Toastmaster guys that might turn into an investor for us and our film or other project and i don't know basically we just sat down at zippies and talked for about four hours <laughs> we said talking about everything oh gosh why did you come like for example you know that buddhist uh nom nom that's it kyo nom it's a chanting it's a universal mystic chanting it means the nom means i believe nom i believe the second word is the mystical law and the third word is the lotus flower the lotus flower give it to me and the last one is song so i believe in the mystical law of the lotus flower <laughs> it's like this is dr strange stuff so anyhow uh but, but we've covered lots of bases including quantum physics Anyways, that aside uh breaking ground for future project stuff the national news is, well, one is the Olympics. Finally, someone got a doping scandal happened with the swimmers, and it's the Chinese swimmers. They got tested for some, I guess it's a heart drug, but it's a, it's a chemical for performance enhancement, and they got tested, and it's sort of like a bust, but they're, they're not really busted, because the Chinese are like, no, no, no. They went out and had some, you know, food and hamburgers. They went out for like, you know, a break and they had these hamburgers at this place, I think it was. And so it's all kind of, what? So they're not sure if they're letting them go. But Are you okay? I'm not sure how well they're doing either. And there's always a scandal with that. But the actual cool news is the women, the US, I believe, women's gymnastics they all got gold so u.s women's a lot gymnastics so that's cool of course i don't have any footage i watch very much the foot give it back you know how much, how much olympics do you really watch i like flip it on it's like eh, and then change the channel <laughs> this is something really oh so anyhow and um another freaking news one is uh trump showed up at this rally of convention of black journalists so these black journalists get together and they invited both parties, you know, both Republican, Democrat, to speak to the, to the journalists and say something. Kamala Harris couldn't, so she said, like, oh, I can't, it's all busy, I can't do that one. And then Trump showed up. Choice. And it was a a backlash of boos, and we don't want this guy, get out of here, because they're just gonna be uh, sitting there and they get, and Trump pops up on stage and talks to them they didn't well, like that because even though they had an invite they didn't like that because earlier uh he just insulted the black journalists left and right calling them all kinds of nasty you know, names you know <gasps> you're so dumb you're just so terrible and so he called them all kinds of names and now he shows up to take advantage of you know <laughs> Uh, Kamala Harris not showing up or not able to make it, so he's, he's good. So it's just weird. Anyways, you know Hawaii's got news too. I I know it. I don't have the newspaper because it's nice. too early. Nice to the news. Oh, flying high. Yeah. 
Simone Biles, women's back team gold because the most decorated gymnast of all time. So she's flying high. She's got the most medals of all. Everyone, gymnast. Maui Wildfire, because it's coming up on August 8th is one year. So I don't know. We're in July, August. What do you want? Not quite there. But they're having this one year since the Maui Wildfires Dampen Island Tourism. Ow. But the news is the tourism's down. And Hula Bar and Grill is kind of moved its location uh, for a while now, I think. And it's on Kapahulu. It's, on, it's kind of close to Kalakaua. But Hula's used to be the total uh, 100% highly populated cave bar used drive by. It's just like that. It's like, holy God. Now there's like, hey, look. Honey, <laughs> it's just sort of low key now because you know, the owners, whatever they do, swipe your key property is what it is. DNA swab, oh, they're still trying to check out the uh, about the 20, 30 year old. This was like 91, 1991. So it's like a 30 year old murder Here. case because the DNA is open again. Here, solid gold. Da, 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 da. Look, oh, look, it's gold. Oh, go, go. And volleyball holds off Germany. So their volleyball's going good. Anything else? No. Number two, she's, she's agitated. Hey, what are you talking about? You're out of here. <laughs> what was this? Tennis? No. Uh, uh, what, what, you need, what you need to do is go for the uh, back in the day. Yeah, just kick back for a second. Take a breath, relax. Oh, back in the day. Yeah, I can relax. 1991. Yeah. You want to relax? You just, uh, Go to the little, um, I don't know, show and tell <laughs> in, in school. This is uh, Aikahi Elementary School. First graders flank the teacher Barbara here in lesson on how Arabic script figures in Saudi art and design. Well, that's a little advanced for first grade. No, this is my place. Now you see in the Arab world and these these things before the Arab, the design, like rat. Uh, this is there's a pot here. It's, it's like, nay, don't take kids for granted. They know stuff. I've seen children pretend they're like they they act like you think they're gonna act like. You think first graders will act like this, and they'll 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 just pretend like that. And then when you turn away, they all of a sudden turn into these like little adults talking to each other. It's like creepy. It's like wait a minute, what's going on here? Uh, dark. dark. Beachgoers, Trump is not positive. Salute to Hawaii. Salute to Hawaii athletes competing in the Olympics. I'm especially proud of all the Olympic athletes coming from Hawaii. It is a recognition of the hard work and dedication these individuals put to the competing at this level. My hope is that the Honolulu Star Advertiser also recognizes them. It is equally important to recognize the number of Hawaii residents who are representing countries in other than the U.S. Brian Cano, Mililani. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, they're already doing that. Let's just do this one. Vote to ensure America retains founding values. This election is not about Democrats versus Republicans, but freedom versus tyranny. Freedom is not free, but tyranny is. Political affiliation, affiliation does not matter. But the consciousness of preserving the fundamentals of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and the motto, E Pluribus Unum, out of many, one. Why did you come? I don't know. As the Pledge of Allegiance of the United States reiterates, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty. Ah, the, the, the bells and justice for all. We all have the responsibility and right to determine our future. Vote. God bless the United States of America. Drew Kosora Mo'ili Ili talking in tutu voice. Well, thank you, Drew. Uh, uh, I, I, I guess you're running for president? It sounds like a little mini presidential stump speech. <laughs> Ending it with the this. No, yeah. I think basically um, what we got is, uh, I mean, I think it's the responsibility of the voters now. 
We're hoping that these institutions would have come in and do, done their jobs, like the courts. The courts might have a chance to, and all this. And hey, you, you can't let the criminal be on the presidential ticket. But popularity overpowered these institutions, folded and being part of biased corruption. And it's like, it comes down. I mean, if the people I remember you. vote in unison, sort of built, you know, vote gigantic way and the only way to stop it is the vote november 24th vote go blue vote blue <laughs> it's the only way to stop it and if people but i'm into the secret ballot free election so everyone votes what they want to vote for and if people vote for the tyrant then i guess i guess we deserve it or maybe America really is over because if the majority, but if it, it's got to be the ma the majority, of people want to. It doesn't sound like it's. Ah, anyways, no worries. I don't. I don't think. Anyways, it's Friday. No, it's Wednesday. Oh, I gotta go run off that postmaster. Okay. Aloha. Have a good day. Aloha to you. Uh, oh, watch out! Stuff gonna happen. Oh. Why are you here? Ah, uh, to do this silly thing. Aloha to you.